Hello there and welcome to this demonstration of Hostcom's PCI compliant payment system which uses a IVR which is built into the hosted contact center or dialer to take a payment from a client in a PCI compliant manner. So what we're going to demonstrate today is an agent talking to a client, a brief exchange. The agent passes the client to the IVR system. We'll demonstrate how that takes the card details and then process, processes the card details, processes the, the payment. And in this case, we're actually using PayPal's payment gateway to collect the money. So we'll also go and look into the sandbox account. The, uh, the PayPal sandbox account is a replica of a and works in exactly the same way as a standard PayPal account does. Okay, so let's go ahead and log in as an agent. So we're logging into the dialer. And um, in this case, we're actually on a manual campaign, um, as you can see. And uh, so let's have a look at the next lead to be called. We're going to preview that first. And uh, so here we go. These are the details. And you can see that there's an amount here, £50. Paid status is unpaid. So we're going to pay that amount, uh, which will change the uh, the database record for that to paid on the database. And um, we'll also get confirmation back from the IVR that the payment went through. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, ring uh, my mobile now, which is this number here. Uh, we've missed a zero off there, which is sometimes the case. So I'm going to ring the mobile. It's going to be on a uh, speakerphone, so hopefully we'll be able to hear that. Okay. That's now ringing my number. Okay, so I'm going to answer that. That's now connected. So I'm going to put this on speaker. There we go. And um, so we're having a brief exchange. I'm just going to take that off speaker. We're getting a bit of feedback there. So the agent would have a, a brief exchange and decide that the client wants to make a payment. And um, at that point, the agent would press IVR part call is how it's labeled up. So what that does is it pushes the client into a secure IVR at which point the, ag the agent cannot hear the client while the client's putting their details in. Okay. So. Right, so it's asking me for a card number. At this point, the client is in a secure conference. The agent can't hear the client. So I'm going to enter my card details. It'll keep asking them until I put them in. That's why it tried to come in there again because I'm a little bit slow. So these are sort of dummy card details. It's asking me for the month now. And they're entered. Your transaction was successful. Thank you for making payment. Okay, so um, the payment went through. And uh, what happened there actually was uh, I entered the card details. The payment was successful, as we'll see, now, or as we'll see in a second. And uh, then it returned, automatically returned the client back to the agent. And I'm now talking back to the agent again here, hence the feedback. Okay, so that's, um, that's pretty much how it works. Very, very easy. And uh, so we'll just have a quick look at the uh, Sandbox account. Yeah, so if I do a quick refresh, hopefully that hasn't timed out. Yeah, so you'll see now there's a payment there, $50, which is uh, the one I've just made. And that's credited our 
sandbox PayPal account. It's actually a dollar account because uh, we've got it set up to demonstrate in sterling and uh, and dollar. I'm just going to hang this phone up now because that's getting a bit annoying. Okay. From the agent's perspective, the client's just hung up. We're going to hang up as well. And we're going to disposition that pay IVR, payment made via IVR. And there we go. And we're ready for the next one. So that's how it works from the uh, from the agent perspective and uh, from the client perspective as well. So that's pretty much it. The um, call recording will record the agent and client conversation. When the agent passes the client to the IVR, the recording continues, but it doesn't record the client entering their details in. So that part of the recording is uh, is is not recorded or filed. And none of the card details, as they're keyed in, are saved. They're, they're basically held in temporary memory while the IVR processes the card payments and then not stored. So they, they basically disappear after the client returns back to the agent, which obviously is important for uh, for PCI details. So just in summary then, the, um, the reason this is PCI compliant is because the client moves to a secure IVR and the call recording stops for the client at that point but it continues for the agent just to keep the call recording intact the card details are not stored anywhere on the dialer so that's one of the reasons it's uh, it's very secure one of the other advantages of course is that the agent doesn't get any visibility at all of the credit card details so again that's quite secure or very secure in terms of um, PCI there are some uh, payment systems where the the agent is exposed to the card details and there's the issue of trust there but in this case the agent's not exposed at all so that's a quick whistle stop tour of hostcom's pci compliance payment system thank you very much